So how, when, since our past reactive mind is so powerful. So com uh, compulsive. So compulsive. It has no power. Okay, but so compulsive, so right there, ready to come the minute things come up. How do you catch it so you can stay in, in your conscious mind before you go up back into the past with all your normal So reactive? this is why yoga is a lifestyle. Your mind, your compulsive behavior, your reactive perceptions, they're all built into your biology. And biology is so imbalanced. And imbalanced chemistry creates imbalanced thoughts, reactions, emotions, fears, addiction, is built into your biology. So that is why we practice panchakarma. Get rid of all the crud, cruds, <laughs> whatever you call it, crap crud. from your crud. body. Crud. That crud is, is a good word. I call it kar karmic crap from your body. <laughs> Don't put any more impure food because your food feeds your past. Your pure food doesn't feed your past. Like if you eat too much sugar, it feeds your past. Why? Because it creates all the disturbances biologically. So you will notice that when you have eaten too much sugar, next morning your mind is changed. You feel differently. But when you eat really, when you clean yourself after Panchakarma, all of a sudden, I feel so good. When you fast and purify your toxins, within three, four days, it was very painful experience, but after four days, <coughs> oh my God, I never felt like this in my whole life. So it is changing your diet, changing your relationships, which are, which is, your, it is your food has your relationship with your mind. The way you have interacted with people in the past is also the food for your relationship with your past. So change that relationship with people who would understand you. And changing your relationship and practicing every day. That's why I said for practicing spiritual journey, success and failure is not an issue. You would go through success and failure. So that is what is part of the practice. So say practice over and over to catch yourself. <laughs>